Okay, uh, welcome again to our lecture about Carnot and reverse Carnot. Uh, uh, let's continue our problem solving. Ano, yung sample natin. Number three, so, the power requirement of a Carnot refrigerator. So, nandito na, refrigerator na sinaba. Refrigerator na. In maintaining, doon na palang sa term na maintaining, sabi, refrigerator na siya. No? A low temperature region at 238 degrees Kelvin. So, it, we are lucky kasi na-convert na siya into a degrees Kelvin. It's 1.1 kilowatt per ton. Sabi niya. So, find COP, T2, and QR. Yung heat rejected QR. Ano? Okay. So, given. So, sabi niya, maintain niya sa temperature at 238.9 degrees Kelvin. Now, so, the power requirement is, sabi niya, 1.1 kilowatt. So, ano yung power requirement na ito? Ito yung work input. Diba, sinaksak mo siya, ilang horsepower kaya, ano, yung, uh, ano ba yan? Compressor, ano. So, 1.1 kilowatt, sabi niya. So, work input is 1.1 kilowatt. And then, per ton, sabi niya, per ton. What is the ton? Ito yung 1.1 kilowatt per uh, QA, per ton of refrigeration. So, 1 ton. Ano? So, QA, so this is 1 TR. Now, ikaw convert natin siya into uh, kilowatt or kilojoule per minute. So, this is 3 point. Balikan lang natin yung mga ating mga... So, 1 ton of refrigeration is 3.52 kilowatt or 211 kilojoule per minute. Okay. Now, what are the unknown? So, sabi niya, T2, COP, and Q rejected. Or Q2 or Q high temperature sa ibang libro. Now, susulat natin sa i-draw natin yung diagram para makita natin saan ba magagaling yung heat, saan ba niya tatapon. Okay? This is very important. <clears throat> Yan. And this is the symbol of, para sa akin, ha? the symbol of compressor below. Ano? This is the room or uh, sabi mo ng area kung saan niya yung minemente niya okay so T1 is 238.9 degrees Kelvin and sabi niya i-absorb niya ito so ito yung kaya niya i-absorb 1 ton of refrigeration or 1 TR or 300 3.52 kilowatt na hit ano now isasaksak mo siya this is your ref eh? of course isasaksak mo siya kailangan ka ng input so work input is 1.1 kilowatt so di ba yung mga ibang estudyante sabi lang hirap daw ng ganito so this is the easiest way ano? so tito is unknown what is our QR Unknown. Very easy. Diba? Very easy. 1.1 kilowatt. Now, find COP solution. So, what is the COP? Right? So, ano bang COP? Diba? First, coefficient of performance. Ano yung naman sa isip? Output divided by input. So, output divided by input. Okay? COP. Sabi niya, what is your output? Gusto ko matanggal ito. QA. So, QA. Ano ba yung input ko? Yun. Sasaksa mo siya. Work input. So, substituting 
substituting the formula okay okay substituting the given so 3.52 kilowatt divided by uh, sorry i said come on 1.1 kilowatt yung work input natin. So, ito yung kailangan natin matanggal. Ito yung requirement. So, COP is equal to ilan? 3.2 ano? 3.2 So, unit less cancel. Now, next B So, ano yung susunod natin? We cannot solve uh, QR or T2. Pwede na, ano? So, COP muna. COP is equal to T2. So, di ba? Yung equivalent of QA with respect to temperature is to T1. So, T1. So, work input is QR less, di ba? Work input Yung sa form natin is QR less QA. So, the equivalent of temperature of QR is T2, QA is T1. So, T2 is unknown less T1. Okay, COP, 3.2 multiplied is equal to T1. So, 238.9 degrees Kelvin divided by T2. So, T2 less 238.9 degrees Kelvin. So, what is our T2? So, 238.9 multiplied by 3.2 plus 238.9 divided by 3.2. So, this is 330.56. So, makikita nyo, mas mainit yung pinapon niya. Ano? Okay? So, letter C. So, letter C. What is our QR? So, dun sa formula natin, work input is equal to QR less QA. Right? Work input is equal to QR less QA. So, manipulating the formula, QR is equal to work input plus QA. So, work input is 1.1 kilowatt plus 3.52 kilowatt yung QA natin. So, QR is equal to 4.62, right? Kilowatt or kilojoule per second dun sa formula natin, okay? Then sa uh, choices. Yan. So, yan ang part natin, no? Very easy. You are going to draw the diagram. Para makita mo kung saan niya kukunin yung heat, saan niya tatapon, ano yung mga parameters involved. Okay? Next! Next, number 4. A reversed Carnot cycle ulit, ano, is used for refrigeration and rejects. So, sabi niya, rejects. Dun sa term lang na rejects, alam mo na ang QR. 1,000 kilowatt of heat at 340 degrees Kelvin. Ano, while receiving heat, alam niya, at 250 degrees Kelvin din yun. Ano. So, determine the COP, the power required and the refrigerating effect. Kami na, refrigerating effect, this is the QA. Another term for QA, yung heat added or the tans or the refrigerating capacity, the refrigerating effect. Ano. Okay, number four. Reject sabi niya, right? Given. So, QR is 1,000 kilowatt at so T2 is 340 degrees Kelvin and 
receiving heat so from the room uh, from the room probably from the area kung saan niya eh kung saan siya kumukuha ng heat so T2 is I think one should say it's 250 degrees Kelvin now go drawing natin no? so this is again the room kung saan yung tatapon this is the compressor Oh, refrigerator ulit, ano? Red? Or reverse thermal cycle? Red ulit. Pwede rin aircon. Okay. So, T1 is 250 degrees Kelvin. So, the absorb niya is QA. This is unknown. Now, sasaksak mo siya. This is again work input. Unknown ulit. Diba? Power required So that's unknown And then T2 340 degrees Kelvin And QR Diba? Ito yung reality niya Tatapon niya sa lahat So QR is 1000 kilowatt Now Sabi niya Find the COP Determine the COP So very easy You know So, A, COP. So, COP, ulit, output. What is our output? So, QA. Or, the temperature. The equivalent temperature of QA is 250. So, output, P1, divided by input. Diba? Input is this. So, QR less QA. So, given ito, P2 less P1. Yan. Diba? Diba? That is very easy. Pag may drawing mo na, alam mo na yung pasikot-sikot doon sa aircon o doon sa ref. Uh, reverse, uh, cannot and reverse cycle na cannot cycle is very easy. So, 250, nasa absolute temperature na siya. So, wala na tayong problema. Hindi na tayo pwede. Hindi na tayo ngayon na natin kailangan mag- ano, mag-convert. Uh, okay? So, COP is equal to So, 250 divided by 340 less 250 or 90, diba? So, 2.78 yung COP natin. That is above 1. That's it's okay, no? So, letter B. So, the power required. So, this is QA. Or, the word input, I should say. Power required. So, it's So, COP, again, output. So, wala pa tayong output. So, QA, wala pa tayong QA, ano? Wala pa tayong work input. Pero, wala na tayong QR. So, pwede natin solve na pala yung QA muna. Yung refrigerating effect. QA. Okay, COP is equal to output, QA. Divided by the input, so QR less QA. So this is already known, no, no, COP and QR. Meron na tayo dito. So, na natin. so substituting 2.78 equals QA, unknown, divided by QR. What is QR? So 1,000 less QA. So yun. Manipulating again the formula. So, QA is equal to 2.78 multiplied by 1,000 less 2.78 QA. Okay? QA, so what is our QA? So, 2.78 multiplied by 1,000 divided by 3.78. Yun, dapat mas mababa siya. So, 735.45 kilowatt. Of course, mas mababa na siya. Ano? So, that is our QA, right? Let us see. So, what is our work input? Diba? Work input, so, gilingin si naman. Maraming naman na masyadong 
less QA. Very easy. Work input is QR less QA. So work input is equal to QR. What is our QR? 1000 kilowatt less 735.45 kilowatt. So that is the work input or the power required. So 1000 plus 735.45 okay 264.55 kilowatt so this is the kaila work a uh, power required uh, to absorb those heat so very easy again you know, given diagram that's it alam mo na yung mga formula dito pa lang sa diagram you know already the formula COP Output divided by input. Apos. Okay. to come to achieve you must believe 